I have been wanting to do this PSA for a while, but I wanted to get my thoughts together on it to be the most informative that I can without scaring or offending anyone. First of all, to avoid scaring anyone, you cannot be forced into hypnosis. I'm going to say that right up front. However, you can let yourself be hypnotized and then have things suggested bit by bit until you're willing to agree to things that you had previously not have. To some people, this is a fantasy they would enjoy experiencing. To others, it is a complete nightmare. And too often, hypnotists will try to send unsuspecting viewers and curious people down into the slippery slope, whether they like it or not. And that's what I have a problem with. Now, I'm sure I've got some amateur hypnotists who are scoffing and saying to themselves, that simply can't happen. The subject would wake up, which is nice in theory and is told to a lot of people when they first start. But, just as you can be talked into doing something you wouldn't normally do by a friend, you can be talked into changing bit by bit while under hypnosis. What I would like to discuss, however, are ways that you can protect yourself from being the victim of an online hypno-predator. As well as protecting yourself from letting things get out of hand by accident with a good hypnotist. So, number one. Always. And really, always check the hypnotist channel and comments and video comments. If there are pages of nothing but I am slave to username, that person is probably not trustworthy. The only thing that chanting like that does is boost their own ego. And if they have that many slaves, they won't have time for you personally unless it's to abuse you. Second, one video will not work on every single person who watches it. There will be negative feedback, there will be questions, and things like that. If there are none of those, that means the hypnotist is deliberately deleting any comment that isn't desirable to make it look like their videos are better than they are. Um, now, number two is that you need to preview any video before you actually watch it. What this means is that you need to go into the video, let it load, then skip to about the halfway point. You probably won't have anything questionable before then, as that's mostly the induction and getting you all the way under. After that point, you won't have too much deepening to worry about, and no full induction to worry about, so you should be able to stay awake without any problems. Um, you just... Watch the rest of it, see if it goes, oh, and now you're my slave, or whatever like that. And if they have something out of nowhere towards the end, don't trust them. If you're really paranoid, you can go ahead and preview all of their videos just to make sure they don't have one clean one, and then one that pushes you a little bit further, pushes you a little bit further with each video, and you know, on in that way. Um... And finally is communication. If a hypnotist does not care about what you have to say, they are not to be trusted. If they expect you to hand over the keys to your mind, the least they can do is put a little effort into getting to know you and not simply using your body as a house for the mind they'd rather was there. Communication is a two-way street, though. You need to communicate with your hypnotist as well. Uh, going into anecdotal areas. Uh, I've had three different times now that a subject has literally written three or four paragraphs about how much they loved doing something because they thought it would make me happy for them to say it. And eventually they had a little breakdown because they weren't actually enjoying anything. Two of these cases resulted in the person just assuming I was a bad person and uh, leaving. The third person actually talked to me about it. In his case, I was having him practice drawing to see how quickly hypnosis could be used to accelerate learning. And although he told me in detail how much he loved to do it at first, he actually hated drawing. And of course, after finding out about that, I, I didn't have him draw anymore and things have been fine. As well, also I'd like to say, if you're working from a purely text standpoint, no camera, no voice, 
you should be aware that you'll need to put a little extra effort into communication because there's no visible difference between when you type yes because you feel like you're supposed to and when you type yes because you actually enjoy something. Uh, hypnosis isn't dangerous, and it's a tool that can be used to do amazing things. I'm always willing to use my skills to help people experience their desires or even help them reach their goals. But like any tool, it must be used responsibly, both by the hypnotist and the subject.